Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G. Today we're gonna to show you how to update the firmware on the G90. Let's get into it. I am going to put some notes in the description down below so that you can follow along step-by-step step with what we're doing. I just wanna show you an overview so you know what it looks like when you're doing it yourself. First thing we need to do is go to the cqzygu.com website. And it's gonna show up in a language that we don't understand. So over here, this very last drop-down, you can pick English and it starts to look a little more understandable. At the top there is download. And then when that page loads, there is a couple of different radios you can choose from at the top, the G90, the X6100, the G106, the XPA125. We're focused on the G90 today and the latest version as of this recording is 179B02. And that's the one I'm gonna download. This procedure should work for any older version and any newer version of the firmware as well. And if it doesn't work for a newer version, come back to here and take a look for my next latest video on how to do this even easier than today. All right, I have saved that file. The next thing that we're gonna need is the tool to do the update. And Dale Farnsworth has created this package called G90 Update FW, fantastic name. I do that myself all the time. Inside of this GitHub repository is the source code so you can check it out and see if he's up to no good, but Dale's a good guy and he's he's got our back on this one. And it comes pre-compiled for us, so we don't even have to do any compiling. Uh, it has versions for Windows, it has versions for Linux generic, it has versions for Linux ARM, which would be your Raspberry Pi type for ARM64 for the newer versions of Raspberry Pis that run 64-bit OS, and for a whole bunch of other things, including Mac OS and System 390, just in case you want to connect this up to your old System 390 and do your firmware update that way. I am going to download the AMD64 executable, so I'm going to click on that link. And it's going to give me this window here with the code in it, so I'm going to download the code by clicking on G90 Update FW and stick it right in my Downloads folder. And we are done with the web browser portion of our exercise. Let's bring up a terminal window, CD into the Downloads folder, and we have two different files here. We have the G90 Firmware Update and then we have the G90 Update Firmware Utility. The G90 Update Firmware Utility needs to be set executable on Linux, so change mod 755 G90 update firmware. And then we can run it, dot slash G90 update firmware. And it'll give us a little bit of help as to what we do. First we need the firmware file, then we need the serial device. So we need firmware files, don't we? We downloaded those already in, they are in the G90FW179BO2-EN.RAR file. So it's unrar x for extract, g90 underscore firmware version 179BO2. And it extracted those. Now here's the funny thing about it. It extracted them into a changelog folder. So if we take a look, we now have the changelog folder, the update tool, and the archive that has all of the updates in it. So let's look inside of the changelog folder itself. So there is the changelog PDF and the display unit firmware file and the main unit firmware file. We're going to go ahead and update the main unit first. But before we do that, we have to figure out where the G90 is plugged in. Let's get that thing plugged in. Step one is to locate your data cable, your cat cable for your G90. Step two is to plug it into the COM port on the rear of the G90. we need to plug the USB cable into the computer also. Now that we have all that done, we need to figure out what serial port, what serial device Linux has decided to call this. And the easiest way to do that is at our command prompt type in sudo dmessage, D-M-E-S-G. And at the bottom, it will give us a bunch of information about it. So it says FTDI USB serial device converter now attached to TTY USB 1. So TTY USB 1 is the magic port name that Linux has decided to call this. If you want to find your COM port for your G90 on your Windows machine, here's how you do that. Go to Device Manager, look under Ports, find the one that's different than all the rest. You can always unplug the radio and then plug it back in and watch the port disappear and come back. And that'll take care of being sure of what the COM port is. On the command line, you just put in com number instead of slash dev slash tty. 
you're all set on the Windows side of things. On the Mac side, it's going to be slash dev slash serial port name, and you can find it pretty much the same way there. So now we do dot slash G90 update firmware, and it's going to give us that help again. And we need a firmware file. So it's in the changelog folder, and it is the main unit file. And then we need to do slash dev slash TTY USB 1. And that's it. When we press enter, it says disconnect power cable from radio, reconnect power cable to radio, power on the radio. So I'm gonna go power on the radio. It has automatically found the radio and it has started the firmware update process. So we are erasing the firmware file right now. And now we're uploading the firmware. Please reboot your rig. Let's reboot the rig. Okay, next up we have to do the display unit firmware update. And the display unit firmware update works almost exactly the same way, except we need to plug the cat control cable into the display unit like this. After we've got that done, we need to do the exact same commands, but change out which file we're uploading. So we do dot slash G90 update firmware. And this file is also in the change log folder and it's called disp unit. And we wanna do the same port dev TTY USB one. Disconnect power from a radio, reconnect power to radio power on the radio. Okay, we are now erasing the firmware from the display unit and we're writing the new firmware to the display unit. And that's all there is to it. Let's go take a look at the radio and see what's up. This is the before version. And here's how it looks at the end when you put the new firmware on and you can see the new version numbers. So we are all set. There is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll be over there waiting for you.